Hello, today I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my city. I'll show you all the things I have, all the cars, all the buildings, things I've done, updated a little bit. So if that interests you, it's coming up after this. Okay, I had a request to do this, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, a walkthrough of my city. I don't have much here yet. It's getting bigger every every day. Um, this is these aren't actually part of the city, but right now I don't have any shelves up. Once I get some shelves up, I'm going to put those there. I got some kids outside screaming. Got the DeLorean, Back to the Future. Of course, the Ghostbusters Echo One, and then this one here that I. Restored a little train, uh, passenger train. What do you call it? A uh, train station. My fiance was messing with it yesterday and messed up all the mini fig figures, knocked them all over. So they're all sitting there waiting for the train, which is actually out of batteries. The batteries went dead earlier. Sorry, it gets a little bit fuzzy every time I move around, it does that. The farm I just built, I, mean, I used uh, the old uh, Vista turbine house to make the barn, and then I just kept this the cozy house by, all by itself because it kind of looked like a farmhouse. I just got to get some animals and that, put them in there. So, of course, I got all these. I got a lot of vehicles. I have the um, recycling Tom's charger. I believe this here was a GWP that came with the uh, boutique motel. And you have um, Brian's car, of course, that there, and I have a repeat of it over here, the green one over there in the end. There's a few other various ones. I also got the James Bond right there. The other ones here. And if you're wondering what this is, this is the Assembly Square, but it's my Assembly Square center. It's actually a double Assembly Square. Yes, it takes a long time to build those things. They're going to be the size of a real, each one's going to be the size of a full modeler. So I'm in the process of building that. As you can see, it got started right here. So they're still working on it. My mini pig workers are still working on it. So it's been going on about two months now. They're kind of taking their time. Then I got my, I got three model buildings built right here. Got the green grocer, the um, town hall, and of course, the boutique motel. Boutique Motel is actually my newest one. So I don't have the jazz club as of yet. And up here I got the up house. This is up house that's been there about maybe six months or so since my last video about it. Of course I presented a little box, the box of the boutique motel because it's my newest one. I'm gonna start doing that a lot, putting those up. Got my light right here, it's what's shining. And over here starts my music park. I decided not to go ahead and hang those two up. It's just too much trouble right now. I got the monster trucks. I got all six of them. I actually have one without wheels because I had to use it for my the green one you saw earlier, the big green one there. I had to use the wheels for that. And then I got what what used to be the Cyclone 2, but it's now just a Cyclone. As you can see the original book there, it's not Lego except for the track. The track and the Cyclone words are, are Lego, I believe. So is the cars, and so is the line. But the white part there is not Lego. But um, I built it based on the original one out of Lego, or as much Lego as possible. But I still want to keep the original idea. I actually might raise this end a little bit, if I can, to have it where it comes around. It actually doesn't, go, doesn't have enough momentum to get around that completely, so I'm going to go ahead and put a hill there and coming down like where that gray one is. 
that way it has enough hill to come down. So anyway, that's, of course I got the GWP um, ice skating rink from a couple of years ago. That's obviously way, way retired by now. Got a couple of Easter things I've never gotten rid of. I also have that little guy right there that I feature a little short about him, how I made him. So you can watch that. And then here comes what is usually for a holiday. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to be doing Christmas here. I'm going to do my, um, my, uh, oh, holiday village. It's going to be right here. I was here last year. Um, or at least in this type of area. It wasn't here at these apartments. But I had it set up with a train going around it, something similar to this. That there is just a little concoction I tried to build. I'm probably going to take it out. It's supposed to be the new train made out of other bricks. Brick built. Didn't come out too good. But anyway, you got the, um, the Callister house, which that's actually going to be moved over over there somewhere. Probably in that area right there. Then I might move it over by the farm somewhere. And then these guys here will be taken out except for the ride. The ride will probably be moved, up, moved, up, moved elsewhere. I actually have two of those, but I'm going to be building two different ones. I'm going to take the motor off. The motor is just too fast for it. It spins them around, throws the mini pigs all across the whole room every time I turn it on. That's why I never run it. So, but yeah, I've had these things up since Easter. So I'm going to take those out and I'm going to put my winter village in there. So you got the McAllister house, the bandits right there. The sticky bandits, I guess they call themselves. So that's my city the way it is right now. Of course, you got the train. It's a double passenger train. So you have uh, four cars, two engines. This engine here doesn't have a motor in it. I have a um, tutorial on how I made that. I made the wheels that they all line up without the motor or motorized wheels at all. It rolls freely. This one here does have a motor in it but the batteries are dead. So you guys, you see this one here does roll, well, pretty much rolls freely. I mean, it's connected. But yeah, see, it rolls nice and freely. No motor, but does still have the weight in there. What I do is I put a block in there. It's the same size as the batteries, and that's what kind of keeps it down. So that's kind of optional, but I have a, way how, I have a, a tutorial on how I made the, the back wheels, the ones that are motorized usually. And then, of course, you see the two remotes. And I got a little crossing gate there. We'll eventually go to a road. So, I guess that's about it that I have in here. Um, oh yeah, also got these, which I just did a, a video about that. Hung those up. The next wing is chasing the Tie Fighter for the for a little show for the for the um, amusement park. I guess the idea is that they're actually made out of uh, jets and they just kind of designed them to make them look like these so anyway or jets or planes or something like that and they do a little show about it Star Wars so they don't go as fast as the original ones probably but they give you the same look so yeah, that's my city bye Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of videos I post. Thanks for watching.